What a fantastic day today at the Red Bull Land. We saw some incredible action today, Day 9. Yeah, I mean, the fact that so many people matched up so evenly and the variety of strategies that were used were absolutely sick. Let's take a look at Day 1 action to see what happened. Flag taken. The international presence here at the Red Bull Land is pretty astounding. White Ross here from Europe, you've got Bomber, uh, arguably one of the best Korean Terran players here. It's pretty awesome to see that Korean players are coming over and landing and teaching the American players something that they don't know, and American players can teach the Korean players something they don't know. The difference between a veteran and a noob in a game like StarCraft 2 um, right now is pretty much just time. I'm definitely a veteran because I've played StarCraft 1, the prequel to StarCraft 2, since uh, I think 2001. There's a couple here more, like White Rock, who's already like 30 years old and has been playing StarCraft his whole life. I would classify myself as a, like a veteran, noob, I would probably be somewhere along the lines of a apprentice or something. I would consider myself not the best player, but more definitely more on the veteran side. Um, I played like StarCraft Brood War for maybe 10 years, and I played StarCraft 2 since its inception. The Halo community is younger. It's, the game's only been out 10 years compared to StarCraft where it came out um, mid-90s. And uh, so the players that play that are older and the players that play Halo are younger, so the maturity level is a lot higher. The difference between like Halo and StarCraft is it's kind of like the difference between grade school and college. Like as you're growing up, you want to have like brainless fun and just kind of, you know, twiddle your thumbs on FPS all day. And then when you get older and more mature and you want something a little bit more satisfying from the game, you typically move on to something that's not populated with like 12 year olds screaming all the time in your mic. The mid rush down. And on the car, guys. The car, the car. Cloud. Cloud's weak on the car. Watch other street. I can't help. Watch other sniper, guys. I just got killed, man. Start on one shot. At the end of every StarCraft game, everyone usually says, you know, good games, well played, you know, etc. Where in Halo, it's the exact opposite, man. I mean, you have people, like, it's a mind game. You can get in their heads with, you know, trash talk, etc. Um, and that's usually one of the main things I do. Whereas StarCraft, I don't know, it's kind of, it's a slower game. And it's just one of those games where you can't really talk smack. Like, oh, nice move, you know, like, nice placement of your units or something like that. You just can't do that. It's definitely a more mature game. So awesome to see players who came into this land not really knowing where they wanted to go, having no direction, getting helped out by their fellow gamer to step that game up. A lot of intelligence in the room, a lot of sharing of the ideas, and it doesn't stop. That was only day one. We got day two, day three coming up, five Pacific time every single day. It's going to be awesome. See you then.